Hi everyone and welcome to this really quick Geography GCC revision video and today we're looking at how a waterfall moves backwards. Now this is a four stage process so let's dive straight in with stage one. Right first thing I'm going to do is draw our waterfall. There's our waterfall and there's our water going over the top. So with a waterfall, it's made up of two bands of rock. We have hard rock, I'm just gonna write HR for short, and soft rock, so I'm gonna write SR for short there. So hard rock and soft rock. Now, obviously down here in the plunge pool area, we know what, what this is like, the water is turbulent, it's really rough. So therefore, against the back wall of the soft rock, we're going to get a lot of erosion, E for erosion. You've got different types of erosion. You've got hydraulic action, abrasion, attrition and solution. But predominantly, the main two types of erosion along this back wall is going to be abrasion and hydraulic action. So this keeps going on. It keeps being eroded, keeps being eroded, keeps being eroded. So eventually, the soft rock is going to be eroded backwards. What does that then look like? So here we go, here's our hard rock. There's the back wall of our soft rock. Hard rock, soft rock, and there's our flow there. So there we go, we can see now the soft rock has been pushed right back and the hard rock is now left overhanging. And of course, I'm sure you can work out here what is eventually going to happen to this overhanging piece of hard rock you know, over a matter of time and also due to the weight of it, that hard rock is going to eventually collapse. So here we go, here's our waterfall again, stage three of the process. Hard rock, soft rock, there's our water flowing through. But this time, what we're gonna draw on is the hard rock, which is departing and falling into the plunge ball. So you've got a lack of support for the hard rock up here in stage two. Over time, that hard rock, it is gonna happen, it's gonna come collapsing down. And then we move to stage four. We're just gonna draw on our waterfall, our hard rock, soft rock. And what we're gonna do this time is I'm just gonna put on the original position of the waterfall. So this is the original position. So you can see where it originally was. And that's it, so it's as simple as that. So you've got a waterfall, hard rock, soft rock. The soft rock is eroded backwards due to abrasion and hydraulic action. That leaves a hard rock in diagram two overhanging. So eventually, right here, diagram three, hard rock collapses down. And then you can see that, you know, over time, the waterfall has moved back. And of course, once this happens, stage four happens and it's keeps eroding backwards, that's when we get a feature called a steep sided gorge. And obviously we find this in the upper stages of a river valley. So there you have it, how a waterfall erodes backwards to form a steep sided gorge. Hopefully that was useful. Um, if it was, please do give this video a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, add a positive comment down below, and please do share this video with somebody else. Thanks for watching.